We've reviewed this range of machines a number of times, how it's transformed engineering companies, reducing cycle times, super accurate, super fast, making fantastic components like these, but they've taken the range to the next level. Let's find out how. Pete, as I've just said, fantastic yeah. machine. People absolutely love them. What have you gone and done now? So what we've gone and done now is we've introduced a four-axis robot to the Speedio range uh, that's called the BV7870. Right, uh, first of all... the unit we're displaying today. We'll cover off what's BV7870 mean. So the 7 denotes the capacity of the robot. It's a 7-kilo capacity robot. And the 870 is the reach of the arm that you've got on the robot. OK. I'm thinking the reach isn't huge, but it's all very compact. I mean, it's all about footprint here, so you don't need a big reach. Yeah, it's commensurate with the machine in terms of performance and footprint. So the actual robot adds circa 300 mil to the side of the machine if we just look at the robot element that we've got here. But then when we actually look at the robot on the stacker, you're only adding a metre... Uh, by uh, a metre and a quarter to the side of the machine. So very, very fast, very small footprint. OK, which is exactly what engineers want, because they're always running out of room. Indeed they are. But you said space. it's a th well, three plus one axis robot or four axis robot? Yes, yeah, four axis robot, so it's a three plus one. So it's got three rotary axis and it's got one linear axis. Uh, and the thing to note about the linear axis is that actually actuates the auto door on the side of the machine. So what we haven't got is a pneumatic door or a servo door that's got to be uh, added to the machine. The robot actually actuates the movement to the door. The robot arm itself then, it's three plus one. Why have you not gone six axis? Well, it's to do with speed and it's to do with footprint. So you'll notice it's very compact on the side of the machine uh, and it just doesn't need the additional axes. Uh, so it's three rotaries, one linear, which actuates the door. Nice and simple. And keeping the cost down as well, I presume. Absolutely. Cost down, footprint down, uh, speed and performance up. OK, when you're saying speed and performance, what sort of cycle times could I expect? I mean, we've got some great components to showcase, yeah. turn part and a pneumatic milled part. Yeah. What sort of cycle times can I expect to save? Application specific with cycle time, but let's have a look at what we see in terms of savings. So the Speedio range, whether it's a five axis mill turn machine uh, or whether it's a three axis or four axis, you'd be looking straight out the box from an ISO, standard ISO 40 taper to be 30% faster immediately with no changes. Uh, with some optimization, we'd see 50%, uh, but we've got some live examples that we've just delivered for customers where we've seen up to 70% cycle time reduction. I can see you've got a lot of capacity in this machine and easy to program, but what sort of flexibility? OK, so it's 10 tray system, as we know. Uh, you might run it with uh, job 1 to 10, so we can have different jobs on each pallet. Uh, and let's say we're running a standard sequence, uh, pallet 1 through to us, let's say tray 1 through to tray 10. Um, if the work priority change because of a customer demand, you could simply resequence with a control panel of buttons that sit on the side of the unit uh, to reorder it to run 10 through to 1 or 5, 6 and 7, so you can simply reprioritise. I want to put you on the spot and ask you how much it costs. Yeah, it's a good question. It's very application specific, as you can appreciate, but it's a lot more competitive than you might think uh, compared to, particularly when you look at the performance of 40 taper five axis machines uh, that use quite large pallet systems. Footprint's much smaller, performance is much, much faster, uh, but the price is also a lot more competitive. Pete, a great machine taken to the next level, and you guys at White House Machine Tools in a great location right in the middle of the country. Yeah, we're right in the centre of the country, based in Kenilworth, just outside Coventry. Uh, this is our technical centre showroom, and the uh, M200X3 with BV7870 is here in stock, available for demonstration.